The waves have changed a little bit. It's not like a morning on the lake, that's for sure, but it's not bad. Um, so we're gonna throw a rod out this morning and I'm gonna read all those comments that everyone made on the other video and see uh, if I can do any better than last time and I'm sure I can. Um, but we got the fish last time. That was kind of, that was the big part, right? I'm Brooke and this is Brayden. We have two kids and two dogs, Rooney, Penn, Frazier, and Captain. At 75 tons and 55 feet long, our home is different. With time being non-renewable and our home being, well, movable, around the world we go as we roam to know. Welcome aboard, Mermaid Monster. Good morning, we're on day three. We're on day three of this five-day passage. We had almost 800 miles to go, and now we have 450, nearly halfway. Uh, we'll be going around Hatteras today, the dreaded Hatteras. We're hoping it's good weather. I haven't had cell service to pull weather, so I'm hoping it's just still like it said it was a couple days ago. Other than that, it's definitely not calm like it was yesterday more mixed up out there, but it's fine. check the direction of the waves and see what's, it's a little wishy-washy, it's not bad, it's great out here. We're gonna be going around Hatteras in a couple hours, so I wanna make sure that we're not stuck in a hairy situation as some people are around that point. It looks like there's a big, big well there is a big cloud in front of us and this beam of light that looks very angelic. Very angelic, I'll show you. See, so we have this big cloud, if I zoom in. See this beam of light that's coming through, but behind it looks like some rain. Should be fine though. Hey Captain, go down. Let's go. Look through. It's a big scary engine wheel. Go on. Go down. The waves have changed a little bit. It's not like a morning on the lake, that's for sure, but it's not bad. Um, so we're gonna throw a rod out this morning, um, but we got the fish last time. That was kinda, that was the big part, right? I 
have any live bait, so, or frozen or anything, so we're gonna have to use a lure. We're gonna use one of these guys today. Um, fishing shop said these things are good. Let's see how they work. So I just put out the Dolphin's Delight, was the name of the lure. And we got a bunch of dolphins out here. So there they go, they're going to the bow. Let's go get the kids. Dolphins, more dolphins. Hey, dolphins. Where? Dude, dude, crazy man. You go, you're excited? So Brooke really likes dolphins. Dolphins and horses. How could you not like a dolphin? Look at them. They're so cute. They're the most entertaining for sure. They are cool. They just, they spin so effortlessly. They really like this boat, don't they? Yeah. They're surfing. I mean, it's do you think the designers of the boat uh, designed the hull to be dolphin friendly? Obviously. To encourage dolphin traffic? Well, look at how fast you're going. Where are they going? And as we were having this peaceful and serene moment with the dolphins, Rooney and I, the boys decided to, well, interrupt us. Brandon and I were talking, we're on a five day cruise almost, and he thought it'd be interesting for you to know why, why we're on a five day cruise and how to prepare for that, I guess. Five days is a lot. It's a lot to do, especially five days with two people is manageable. Five days with four people is... Four people? We don't have four people. They're, they're not people. They're people. They're just littler people that have a yeah, little I more think needs. Yeah, I think a cruise with four people would be way easier than with two people. And Rooney and Penn. Gosh. Rooney and Penn here sometimes makes it even more fun, huh guys? A little bit more adventurous, a little bit more And we have two dogs, too. Yeah, so, the two dogs aren't so hard. Six. Six One things dog. that we yeah. gotta take care so, of and feed. Why are we doing five days non-stop? So the weather window looked great um, and it picks up a little bit. So we'll see. I'm not exactly sure that we're gonna make it all the way where we wanna make it. It might end up being four days, but the weather's good. And then when we go uh, multi-day trips like that, we can take advantage of the Gulf Stream and get farther out in the Gulf Stream. Why does the, why do we want to be in the Gulf Stream? So the Gulf Stream is going to allow us to get, in some cases, we, we don't go all the way into the center of the Gulf Stream, but we're just kind of hug the, the edge of it. It allows us to get a couple more knots of speed without paying for them. Um, we're going that way anyways, and so we don't have to rev the engines any higher. Keep the engines about 1700 RPM, which is about 40% 
load, um, and and that's uh, it, yeah, it's 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 a fit, fuel efficient to get up there in that case. So right now we're burning about six gallons an hour, and we're going about eight knots. Yeah, and we are twin engines, so we burn a little bit more than those singles. We get internet like every what, what are we? We do have internet right now, but we get internet um, not so often. How we haven't far had offshore internet most are we just. normally? Well, this route has us going offshore about 120 miles offshore, so there's really no communications past then. So we use yeah. the sat phone so that we can uh, call people if we need help. Um, that's extremely important. There are times when we've been out there that we've needed help um, to kind of figure out something mechanically or something like that, and that sat phone comes in handy. Sat phones are not foolproof, but they're good. Yeah, pretty good. Cool. So I want to talk a little bit about the electronics that we have. These electronics, they're a little bit older, but they work perfect. I would love it to have new electronics, but there's a lot of redundant systems in here, and that entire electronic package that I've kind of priced out on what I want, it's, it's something you want to save up for, I think. Um, well, I need to save up for it at least. But what we do have is come over this way and we can kind of see the, the cool toy here. This, this radar right here, this thing is great. You can track targets on there, pulls up anything. Um, right now we have it in at about 24 uh, miles. And Which means what? Each of these rings is a four mile radius. Um, and if you want to go really far out, we can go all the way out to 120 miles. So the 120 miles, the horizon, I forgot what the number is from where the horizon is. Do you know, Brooke? No. But the horizon obviously is going to, it doesn't go out 120 miles. We can't, we can't see line of sight 120 miles. But what we can see is we can see clouds up there. So that will give us weather patterns um, farther up, which is really nice. We keep the, we keep the radios here at 13 and 16. We also have a radio in the kitchen, and we also have a radio in our stateroom, which makes it nice to kind of know what's going on. We have a separate nav in the stateroom. We got an AP70 autopilot. This thing's great, works really good, and also has a, a no drift function, so it'll stay exactly on your line. And then we have an AP50, Simran AP50, that we hardly use, but it's got a separate. We've use it, have we? We have, yeah. It's got a separate. Um, autopilot pump down there and and it works it also has this cool follow-up lever that we've never used we haven't have we no but, but that, everyone that beats from it. from having to do this what we do a lot of times is we just we use the autopilot we steer um, the whole boat with yeah that. five degrees that way oh there we go yeah. we're turning let's go back okay um these our stabilizers, and it's uh, on night mode there. You can't see them. So okay. you can see how they're actually moving right there. Can you not see it in the... On the diagram, it has these, it has both of the fins up there, and the fins go like this. Yeah. And um, they're constantly keeping us steady. If you turn it off, the, the sea state's not bad, but we have them, so why no, not use notice. them? They do, they do make a difference. Why? Um, bigger waves and it's nice yeah we're starting to pick up a little bit more waves on the stern which gives us this kind of like washing machine feel um that's not it's not the best but it's what you can do see this thing right here this is a forward facing sonar do we use it we have used it but the reality is is that it can only see like not that far in front of you. So if you have any speed at all, by the time it shows up on here, it's too late. It's really more of like a fish finder or something like that. But um, I know a lot of a lot of boats, the technology is getting better on that, but a lot of boats have that in. But I think the biggest complaint is you gotta be going very slow to be able to see anything on there, at least with this one here. Mm -hmm. um, we got our bilge counter down here. And then this here is a FLIR system. I guess it was called Mariner before Mariner before it was called Fleer, um, and it's old, but it works. 
And it also hooks up to our TV in our stateroom as well. So the stateroom's got a separate nav system in it and it can hook up to the FLIR so you can kind of get this forward facing view at night. It makes it really cool. And you got a radio down there. You can do a lot with that. Our GPS, we have a, uh, a satellite GPS unit here. And then here, we just have a standard GPS unit. You can see it's starting to pixelate on there a little bit. It would be nice to get a new one. Um, but this is the expensive one here, so I'm glad that that one's good. Um, we got this that gives us this is a weather station up top. Um, it gives us our depth, air pressure, water temperature, apparent wind speed, um, apparent wind speed, air temp. One of the owners of this boat um, previously, he, he or she, I think it was a he, loved gauges. So we got this gauge here that looks like it's analog, but it actually has a digital feed. We have this gauge here, which gives us the same stuff as this in a prettier format. And then we have this gauge here, which gives us very similar information as well. This one gives us just a little bit more information when I go through the settings, and it is a lot better to look at, but we got a lot. We got a lot of redundant information there. But that is that is a, a, there's a little bit more here, but that's the basics. The main thing is, is we have communications to communicate with someone when we don't have cell coverage. That's the satellite phone. We can, um, we have a double up on the GPS so that that doesn't get lost. And we have an iPad to be able to get us there, which always has a GPS function in there as well. We have two sets of navigation screens um, that are separate. So if one goes bad, the other one will work. We actually have a separate radar that will go on this screen as well that's a little bit shorter range that, um, that we don't really need to use right now. Um, but we will if it's at night or we feel like we want to get a little bit more visibility. Maybe we have one set a little bit farther out than, than the smaller one. Right now we're making water and we're getting it done. So this is, this is a, kind of the basics of how to navigate on a long cruise. You know if we could just go to Bermuda, it'd be like the same distance to go to Bermuda, bro. I know, bro. I know. We should have. That would be cool, huh? That would be cool. All right, my arm is going to fall off. All right, I'm thanks. Set this down and go. It's time to entertain the children. I know, we got to do the Brio trains, huh? Yeah. So as Brayden kind of said, we are doing like a five day cruise right now. And coming at it from a guy's perspective, he's thinking of all the technological planning and electronics and fuel and water. And I'm thinking about it from a mother's perspective. Like what the crap do I do with my kids in a contained boat for five days without going crazy? And the answer is, I have no idea. Currently my kids are like, I want to get off the boat. We're on day three and it's actually going all right. We've had a lot of sea life and with kids, it's just giving them somewhat of a routine. We wake up, we don't stay in jammies all day, we get dressed, we brush our hair. Sometimes we stay in jammies most of the day, but a lot of times we try to get up, get their schoolwork done, then they get a little bit iPad time. We'll do movies in the pilot house together as a family at night, but um, having like that routine helps the day go by instead of it all mushing into one blob of time which can get pretty miserable both kids haven't been underway for like four months now and they're pretty antsy on day three so Braden and I are trying to think of what we can do to entertain them pretty much you just have to suck it up and get it done and we chose to do this straight shot because we have weather and not a lot of time we have things coming up here that we need to be at and do. So we've got a short amount of time to, to see something and we decided we didn't want to stay in the south so we're jumping to the north. That's kind of how we roll. Uh, anyway, the kids are calling my name. Rooney's sitting right here because <laughs> she's bored. So we're gonna go do something fun. Pen, what are you doing? Where are you going in there? 
Are you making a Brio train set? Grumpykins. Hey, just don't get stuck in there, okay? Deal? Oh wow. Okay, I gotta go drive. I love I love you. I love you. I love you not. I love you. I love you not. So did you guys have another a uh, good day? Third day out here? Was it good? Yeah. yeah. Not too bad. I want to go back in. <laughs> <Can I try laughs> one, one and a half more days to go. I'm going to go all the way up to Maine. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going big. Just going big. <laughs> Penn, going big. Is it Maine? No surprise. Is Maine that how way? Many, that how way? many days? <laughs> it's that way. How many, how many days? How many it days would, would be an extra two take? days. Let's go. So, you want to do four more days? Two more days. Maybe we should leave you guys to do the route planning. Oh, you can just see my little builders building my house for me. Yeah, you're so happy we gave you like five minutes of iPad time. Oh my goodness. Alright guys, time to go to bed. So three days under our belts, the golden sun sinks beneath the horizon, taking a quick break from providing us the ability to see the beauty that's out here on the open ocean, only to promise her return come morning. And while we glide through the water, however the ocean decides to push us along, we contemplate life and the decisions we've made that shape us into the humans we are today. No one can know for certain what the right way is to live, deal with trials, raise kids, make money, spend money, find happiness, etc. But one thing we can always count on, that as that sun sets, we know it'll rise again. So we're just about to go to bed, and then now we have to fix the gray water pump. Yeah, you want to see that? So, in the pump, there's these things. They're duck bills. And they're not supposed to look like that. They're, they're supposed to look like a duck bill, like, like that. But this one's gotten all mangled. The pump has just mangled it. Maybe it went inverted or something like that. This normally happens when there's like a hair clog in there or something. I don't know why this one happened though. I haven't seen them this mangled. We gotta put a new one in. And then we'll be set. Okay. So I just brought up a spare pump and we took the duck bills out from this side and this side. We have we have more duck bills, but this was the easiest one. I'd have to, get to look to. in the we have a whole spreadsheet of where everything is and yeah, it's probably not as easy it's to get to as this one. What I'm it. gonna do is I'm gonna tape one down here. That's what I mean. Say anyone else that has a boat. Do you do this as much as I do this? Because I do this all the time. This thing took me like so long the first time I learned how to do it. But now it's, it's like just like- 10 minutes. Now it's a hassle, but like I got it quick. But am I the only one that does this? Like, please let me know. Cause uh, I feel like I'm doing this all the time. You have a house with girls in it. And a boy with lots of hair. Nice. And you have lots of hair. Look at that man bun. Yeah. All right, I need to go drive. No one's driving? Well guys, that's all for this week. We hope you've enjoyed day three of our five days at sea. As always, thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave a comment below. We'll see you all next week.